just picked up new car. Right before the Monterey Car Week. No? <laughs> we are going to photo shoot with the Chaotic Media and the Yvonne. Also, Nick is here. We're taking the Huracan and the M3 out today. But we are actually going to pick up the 450 from RJ2. Oh, back to the vlog! Ciao, Tech, back at it again with the vlog. <laughs> Look at this clean interior, guys. All right, guys, it is Chaotic Media back at it. With Danny P, of course. <laughs> Yep. And that's how we're gonna start the vlog today. Yep. A couple rips on the street. go pick up the 458 from RJ's. Yes. He uh, repainted a few of the bumpers. Yes. Such a nice guy. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We got Ivan and Nick behind us in the M3. 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 All right, guys, we'll see you at RJ's. BBS doesn't make this kind of quality wheels, to be honest. <laughs> the, the, the cut and shape. You can smell. Yeah, you can I smell know. Chinese from a mile away. <laughs> Should we scare the shit out of RJ? Here, he's probably working the bed. Whoa! Whoa! What's up, buddy? Good. Good. Chaotic Media through Lambo. Where's the parking brake at? Here. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Let's go. See you guys. There's Danny.
got some photo shooting going on with John Dick Media and Danny. Yo, what's going on? It's me, Danny. My favorite block, you guys all know. I just picked up new car. I just picked up new car. Over a thousand horsepower from the crank. Dino Jet, super fast, super. Probably the fastest car I ever drove, like without my twin turbo R8, like 1400 horsepower twin turbo R8. It was my friend's car, okay? It was my friend's car, and he bought it from my another friend. He already had the full kit like pretty much like sixty thousand dollar body kit and my friend bought it and he added all this mod another other more mod and made it super fast so just got to my warehouse we're gonna go see open the car i bought i'm just gonna show you guys right away i'm not gonna delay okay let's go see my new car okay you guys ready there we go! <laughs> yes, it is McLaren. And yes, it is Chris's car. I mean, you guys saw my vlog, how he picked up this car, how he like modded this car. Even he took my actually camera to LA um the auto talent you know you guys saw like how the m engineering turned this car to from the dyno and you guys saw this car was pushing i think like 928 uh horsepower on the real wheel in mustang dyno which means like it's pretty much like over a thousand horsepower crank or dyno jet you know and yes chris added um nice 1920 hre wheels which means it, but i gotta make it black you guys probably all know that you know all my cars are black but black wheels Black wheels. My garage is kind of empty. Chris took my Evo as a rental. <laughs> Chris is getting surgery um, and that's the reason why he sold this car to me. But he already ordered a new car, you know. Stay tuned guys, like he ordered even better than this car. So pretty much you guys can see the car. Uh, it's fully modded. It's got the carbon the hood, the rift hood, vor stainer front lip, stainer fender. It's got the Novitec roof scoop. It's got all those Novitec carbon part here. Even here, even here. Even there, everywhere. And it's got the Vorstainer wings. It's got the Vorstainer diffuser. And we got the Inconel down pipe, test pipe, and the titanium exhaust, uh, stretch pipe exhaust tuned by M Engineering. Uh, it's running actually the 91 and 85. I think 91, they're pushing around like 8, 820, I think? 820 on the wheels, rebel. We're talking about Mustang Dyno, okay? So 820 should be pretty much like, like, you know, way over 900 on the wheels, you know? Um, and with the E85, the car was pushing because I think 928 on the wheels, you know, so it's over a thousand horsepower in, in the dyno jet. I don't know what, what I'm gonna do. The first thing I'm gonna do is actually, I need to take the wrap out. I'm sorry, the guy who wrapped this car for Chris, like he did an amazing job, but you guys can't tell I'm a super simple guy, you know, so like this is not my type of thing, you know, so I'll take it out first. I'm gonna take it to Horatio and he's gonna take it out, you know, in a couple of days and he'll post a nice ceramic code, you know. It's still, it's still stock turbo, so you know there's more you know power I can go up. My plan is probably putting the upgrade turbo clutch and you know probably some build motor and it can be like 12, 1300 horsepower you know on the wheels easily. So that's what I'm planning right now. And like I say, I gotta take the rep out first. I already have a promo with the Horatio tomorrow. He's gonna come take the, all the rep out and actually put the and polish it and put some coat. And before that, like today, I'm going to see Yosef first. I think the side is okay, but on the front, I think it's not dark enough for me. You guys all know I don't like to show my face, right? This car gets a lot of attention, you know, so I need a darker tint on the front. I mean, this tint is dropped from the Yosef too, but it's only 50, so I need something like 25, you know. And I was thinking about actually here. This is actually glass, you guys will know that, right? But when you guys open it, so when I'm driving it, I think this is not like just not dark enough. So I get uh, 
sun through this actually window which means it's nice you know it's more comfortable to get in and out compared to my aventador because the roof open it's kind of cool it's a glass but like i just don't like to get the sun from maybe i'm gonna tint this area too. i'm gonna talk to you so you know i think the side is fine side is i think like 20 like a 15 yeah so this this doesn't look like glass but it is glass and i'm, so I'm gonna pretty much tint this and this so i'm gonna show you guys actually how this car runs you know with the e85 right now you know it sounds good i mean it's still like you know sounds like a vacuum <laughs> but i'll show you guys okay the room, the store. i mean it's mclaren you know <laughs> what do you guys want <laughs> oh it's ready to roll I'll show you guys like this car has actually has a seven maps from M engineering so I gotta put the car in the neutral and here's the I think this is the cross control thing when I press it you can see I can like do like one two seven right map one is a 91 octagon violet mode map two is 91 no pops uh, map three is 91 wood pops and map four is an e50 blend which means like 91 e85 mix and map 5 is like a vol E85 volume mode. Map 6 is a E85 no pops. And map 7, which means like I'm on right now, it's like a map 7 is actually E85 with the pops, which means my favorite map, you know. Pretty much I drive this car like, you know, with a map 7 all the time to E85, you know. Let's get the full power. I think I get a full power map 6 because the pop kind of wastes the gas, you know, and actually you know, make the car a little slower, you know. So map, map 6 should be faster than map 7 but uh, but you know you can't miss the pop you know the good thing about this car like compared to Lamborghini the the front lift system is super fast and it's very convenient too like it's like literally right here you can just press it boom and you can see the car is going up like Lamborghini takes forever to go up but this car I think it only takes like less than like yeah it's like almost what well, like five seconds that was super quick like can't really oh yeah and another thing i used to when i used to actually like record it like this with the camera i have to upshift like this i don't have to make learn you know i noticed that so pretty much this one's supposed to be like a downshift right i'm gonna show you guys actually um so i don't have to show off my watch anymore which means what everybody's saying you know i'm going i can i can push it it shifts to actually in a second so i can push one more time it's third but if i actually you know push like this way it's like downshift so i don't have to do do this anymore i can just do everything from this side when i record it i'll show you guys some little pop though it's like endless pop right <laughs> Upshift, upshift from my, my own, only one hand. So actually, uh, even when I go to race, it was hard to record for me because I have to shift like this. But this car, when I go to race, I can actually record my right hand and I can still, no problem. This is probably the like best thing about this car too, you know. And just trying to give you a quick review that since this is my first McLaren. I mean, I drove a lot of McLaren pretty much all different models, but like, this is the, probably my favorite one instead of like, Sena or P1 to be honest, you know, because those are hyper cars. I'm talking about supercars. I drove 570, 600, 650, 675, you know. I mean, but this is for so far. I didn't drive 765 LT. You guys all know what happened. But like I said, this car is way faster than 765 LT. I'm pretty sure the 765 LT has more aero, but like this car has a full kit, full stainer and the uh, Nobita kit. So it's not gonna make a huge difference to be honest, you know. Uh, and it handles really good too. The car has a HRE with all the Toyo Ultra Play R, you know, wrapped. So like, you know, it looks pretty good even it's a rebel drive. Yeah, so like, it is fast. It is way faster than my Huracan Evo. It is way faster than even my 900 horsepower Mustang. It is way faster than my Ferrari. It is, it is like, it is fast. It is really fast. Like, like I say, probably the second fast car I ever drove, like instead of the twin turbo R8, you know. My twin turbo R is coming back in probably a week or two. Uh, so 
so I want to race this car with my twin turbo R when I get it back with a 1200 horsepower. I mean. You give me a big smile. I can tell he follows me too. You're gonna be my vlog. Alright, see you guys there. Peace.